guys, Daniel here. So today um, I was going to think about what video to make and I decided to make a top 4 video of apps uh, for the month of July. Um, so some of these apps were released uh, like not in the month of July but I found out about them in this month. So that's why I'm calling them top 4 apps of July. So let's get started. So the first uh, app is Linky. Now Linky is an awesome extension for the iPhone. Um, it shares so when you're gonna tweet or Facebook something, um, a, a photo let's say, uh, it will do it for you. So you don't have to um, worry about uh, how to share uh, a photo um, on Twitter or Facebook. So it's uh, it's not a free app. It's uh cost about I think, uh three to four dollars in the Canadian App Store. Um, so I'll post a link in the in description below so you could download the app if you want. Um, it's an awesome app. Uh, super uh useful to use on extensions. So you don't have to worry about closing or opening an app for it. Uh, you can use it on any app. Uh, to post to Twitter or Facebook. Uh. My next app is an awesome uh, podcast recording app, which I use uh, to record uh, podcast episodes on my iPhone. It's called Opinion. Now, Opinion is not a free app. It also costs money. I don't know the price for it, but I'll post in the description below, where it's an awesome app where you can upload directly to SoundCloud or to any uh, share file you want. So I use it to upload to Dropbox and from there, I take it out of Dropbox to edit it. So it's a really awesome app. You could do some small time editing inside it. So if you don't want to uh, um, export it from the iPhone, you just want to uh, cut down some clips from the from within the app, you could do that. And it's really simple and useful for recording podcasts uh, like I do on the iPhone. And I think it sounds a little bit okay, I guess. Uh, my voice on it because I'm using my iPhone right now and I'm using Opinion to record this video. So it's really, really useful and really awesome. Um, my next app uh, for the month of July is an email client called Spark. Uh, Spark is a new app that was released this year. Um, I'm not going to show you inside the app, of course, because it's my real emails and everything, but I will post, of course, the video which you're seeing right now of Spark. Uh, so it's really awesome email map. It supports, of course, Google, Yahoo, uh, Hotmail, all the top email clients that you know and love. And it's super easy. Like I ha it only sends you notifications of uh, what you really, really need to know and not like your junk mail. So not like any, uh, n not every single email comes in and notifies you that you received that email. It only takes the smartest emails that you really, really need to know about, which is really useful. And I have three email, uh, three email um, accounts in this app, which I use and it's really, really easy to use and really helpful to you. So Spark is one of my favorite iOS uh, email apps right now. And for a lot of top uh, Apple blockers, it's one of their favorite uh, email uh, clients right now is Spark. Uh, my the last last uh, iPhone uh, for July app is Time Page. Now Time Page is a Moleskin app. Uh, it's a calendar slash reminder app. So you uh, let's say you need to remind yourself that you need to go to the dentist tomorrow. You put it in. It will tell you the weather. Um, it will notify you. Like if you want to use Uber, you can use Uber within the app, of course, too, because they partnered with Uber. So you could call an Uber to come pick you up a certain time uh, inside the app, and you could change themes, colors. So, and it's not also not a free app. Uh, time page, time page does cost a, a bit of money, which I like always. I'll put in the description below. Um, where you could download the app. Uh, it's one of my favorite apps right now. Time page is really clean, and they've been updating the app a lot, so it's been getting a lot useful, uh, and it hasn't been crashing a lot now. So it's uh, one of my favorite apps to use right now for reminders and calendars and weather app too. So uh, those are my top four apps for the iOS uh, device on the iPhone. And if you guys 
uh, want to see a top five uh, Android uh, video of apps, uh, you should check out uh, TLD. It's another YouTube channel, which is really, he does a really good job. He uploaded last night a video, which got me inspired to make this video. And I'll post the link also on the video and on the description below where you can see top four, uh, top five uh, awesome Android apps. And if you go and check it out right now, he's doing a giveaway where he's giving away a free Samsung uh, S6, I'm pretty sure, uh, phone. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.